Tomorrow, voters will decide on a new delegate to represent Virginia's 24th district. The seat was previously held by Ronnie Campbell, who passed away last month after a battle with cancer. Two people are running for the position, including Campbell's wife. WFXR's Amanda Lee spoke with both of them today. She joins us now live from Rockbridge County. Amanda, what did they tell you about their platforms? Good evening. Ellen Campbell says she plans to, to continue the same conservative representation as her late husband. Meantime, Democratic opponent Jade Harris says she's well qualified to represent the district. Just days after Delegate Ronnie Campbell's passing in December, Governor Glenn Youngkin announced a special election for a new 24th District delegate to serve until the end of 2023. Early voting lasted only seven days and ended on Saturday. We had 719 that a pretty good turnout for just a week of voting and uh, not much um, publicity on it, you know, short turnaround for us also. The two candidates looking to fill Ronnie Campbell's seat are his wife Ellen Campbell and Jade Harris, the first vice mayor ever elected in the town of Glasgow. I'm only 25, but I've got the experience, I think, for this job. I think I'm the most experienced candidate. I know I can get it done. I know I've got the energy, the enthusiasm. Harris says if elected, she wants to address funding for infrastructure, education and mental health care. We need expanded access to mental health care, especially in areas like this where depression is so rampant. I mean, we have such a hard job market here and, you know, that just leads to depression. That leads to other issues. It leads to addiction, which I know mental health care resources can help with. Republican opponent Ellen Campbell has a background in banking and spent years by her husband's side while he served the Shenandoah Valley. When he passed, you know, I couldn't think of a better way to honor his legacy and memory than to run to fill his position. Campbell is also looking to address education and continue her husband's advocacy for public safety. We need to make sure that we keep our communities safe by supporting our law enforcement officers and making sure that they are paid well, that they have the equipment and supplies that they need. Director of Elections Sheila Hall says they sent out 500 absentee ballots and have gotten and have gotten uh, half of those back. Now, in-person voting tomorrow starts at 6 a.m. and polls close at 7 p.m. Reporting live in Rockbridge County, Amanda Lee, WFXR News.